If there was one way to feel classier, dangerous, more British than usual, then it would be to binge watch British spy movies. The latest in the lineup of action packed Britishness would have to be Kingsman. And the only reason why I bring this up is because the prop master thought it was a good idea to attach a shotgun underbarrel to a Tokarev TT30. There's nothing wrong with this idea. I do like the concept of them using a rather dated pistol and then modernizing it somehow for a modern movie. Now, we have it in the airsoft world. And of course I had to get one, I'm, I'm a Brit. But does it make me feel like a knight at the round table? Right off the bat, I notice a few things wrong with it. The grip, as awesome and as wooden as it is, isn't as wide as what you'd normally see on the movie prop version. The teeth, holding the slide lock in place, isn't meant to be there, but we want it to be there or else the slide lock would come out, the slide would fly off and all hell will break loose. And there are some silver pins and hooks that are sticking out a fair bit but I guess one could just color them out or just file them down. And what is with that rear sight? It is two millimeters too high. Are they trying to make us look like those actors on TV that hold the guns in a very awkward position? These are things I can overlook. Why? Because Shogun got many more things right. The diamond texture of the grip is made out of wood, which goes to show that they are following guidelines. And by removing that teeth, you can loosen the slide lock on the left side, which will allow you to remove the slide so you can at least find the hop-up adjustment dial so they're keeping things familiar. The full metal body, aside from the grip, gives it a good weight, but it's still very light. The hammer has been cut down, so it sits flushed along the rear of the slide. The trigger has been zeroed, so the reset, brake, and wall are right next to each other. Most modern guns don't even have that, though that's only because it's been pulled back to make room for the underbarrel shotgun that sits in front. Which brings me to my next point. The most prominent and obvious feature is the gun underneath the gun. The material used is the exact same as the pistol itself, so it doesn't add much weight to it at all. Pulling the latch underneath will release the one shell which is basically a PPS shotgun shell where you can refill the gas right here and then insert six BBs into the shell and load it like you would a grenade launcher. Now Gambit has already released a video showcasing how one would use the PPS shell. So click in the card to find out more about that. Pulling the trigger will thrust the pin forward, triggering the shell and blasting BBs out with a tremendous I was expecting to be blown away by the voice of Leona Lewis, but all I got was William Hung, which is pretty hilarious. The only thing I have yet to talk about is the fact that it uses a 15 round magazine and the gun is running the WE system. And that's all I have to say. I guess that means it's time to chrono the thing. For the chrono test, we're using 0.2 gram, six millimeter BBs. and it clocked in at an average of 320 FPS. It's also very important to know how high the shell chronos itself. So let's try that. 260 FPS for one BB, that's not bad. Now for some target practice. For this test, we'll be using 0.25 gram BBs, hitting at a target 10 meters away from us. Now we all know that problem with that rear sight, how it sits very high. So we have to accommodate our aim. I've spent some time beforehand trying to mess with it, see where I have to aim. And I actually have to aim one foot below that target. So let's see if my practice has paid off. Is it too late to mention that this pistol does not have a safety feature? The only safety is your trigger finger. That zero trigger feels amazing. Good solid kick as well.
Let's take a look at those results. Now that I took a closer look at the results, I can easily tell that the grouping is around three inches in diameter. It did waver from left to right every so often, but one thing I found very irritating was the height of that rear sight. I had to accommodate it and take a few test shots beforehand just to get this result. It was infuriating. I, I need to trim down that rear sight, but that's what you have so far. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the gun underneath the gun. Whew, look at that. Did you see that? That was, that was pretty decent. We're about six meters away from the target now and the spread was about a meter wide and by the time it hit six meters, it just about dipped. This is really good for clearing out hallways and small rooms, but let's give it another go. Woo ha ha, she bang. That was even wider this time. I think I fit a little bit more gas in there and it spread to about two meters. Again. She bang. Oh baby. Yeah, this is, this is a lot of fun. I think I may just give it one more shot. Ooh, she moves. That thing is a beaut. I am in love with this pistol. I think it's time to wrap it up now. Prop guns aren't very common in Airsoft. Lalax and Marushin are the only companies that I can think of right now that design guns from the anime Ghost in the Shell, as Lalax manufactured the Schrodinger from an MP7 AEG base, and Marushin have brought us the Mateva Revolver. And I'm sure you guys can remind me of some more replicas out there. Luckily enough, I've reviewed both these guns, so if you'd like to take a look at them, you can click on the card on the top right side of the screen. So where does this Kingsman pistol sit on the scale of replicated movie anime gaming prop guns? I'd give this a solid 7 out of 10. As there are some parts that Shogun could have finely tuned, as I've mentioned earlier, but these are things that I could just glance over as these issues were mainly there to keep the pistol intact, apart from that grip. That wooden grip can be a little bit wider. I'm still very impressed with the fact that Shogun thought it was a good idea to replicate a prop gun, where the prop master too thought it was an amazing idea to add a shotgun barrel attachment to a classic pistol. It makes me so happy to know that manufacturers are thinking outside the box instead of making things that have already been made, but also adding more to it. As mediocre as the pistol performs in comparison to other GPP pistols, the idea behind the Kingsman pistol is truly brilliant. So let me ask you one thing. Would you cosplay this pistol like I am currently attempting right now? Or would you be taking it to a game? Let me know in the comment section below. So with this cool product and many more, go to our online store at www.redwolfersoft.com and I'll be seeing you on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Porn stash and this out. <laughs>